Hi YouTube, my name is Caitlin. I'm 20 years old and on February 16th I'm going to be going in for lap band surgery. I decided I wanted to do vlogging on YouTube because I've been inspired by a lot of people that I've seen on YouTube. I've seen all their tips and what they went through and it really has helped me along the way of my, my, my journey through um, going up to the time I'm going to have the surgery. I wanted to be one of those people that inspired, like that inspired me. I want to be able to help someone else and inspire someone else. Um, I'm not fully done with my doctor's appointments yet. Tomorrow I actually have a gallbladder and liver sonogram, and then on Tuesday I have an echocardiogram. Then after that I just have um, a meeting with my my general practitioner, and I have um, my workup for the uh, sorry the surgery workup on the ninth. And then after that, I'm gonna, on the 7th, I'm sorry. And then on the 9th, I have to start my liquid diet. And I'm kind of nervous about that. I was wondering if anybody had any tips or, like, things that to make it easier. Because I know the first three days are the worst. I have to do it for a week. So, like I said, my surgery is on the 16th. I'm going to start that on the 9th. Um, I'm looking to lose about 180, 200 pounds. I know it seems like a lot. People usually say if you want to lose more, more weight like I do to go for gastric bypass. But I... I'm more comfortable with doing lap band, um, so that's probably, that's why I've chose lap band. I know there's a lot of different people that have different views, but everybody's entitled to their opinion, and I just feel more comfortable getting lap band. Um, another thing was I was also talking to someone else on Facebook, because I do a lot of talking to people on Facebook with uh, my before and after group, which is a great group, because it's all different um, women, men and women that have had gastric bypass, the sleeve and lap band, and uh, I was talking to someone on there that was around my age, she's a few years older than I am, but she was saying also that it's hard to find people that are our age, that are going through this, usually there are a lot of older women and men that are doing this, but there's, but it's hard because, like I said, I'm 20, and there's not many women that are going, uh, that are doing this at a, such an early age, so I was wondering if there's anybody out there that is as young as I am that was doing this, because I feel like it'd be nice to be able to talk to someone that is on the same age level as my as myself. Um, I'm probably gonna start making videos every, every day, every other day, something like that. I'm gonna try to at least. Um, I wanna try and do something with um, like my top 10 things I'm not gonna miss when I'm when I lose weight and different things, just things like that up until when I have to start my liquid diet. Then I'll do a, a thing about that and how I'm doing with that and how I'm dealing with it. Um, when I came back from my blood test, I waited about a week and a half and I got results back saying that I had the onset of early type 2 diabetes and the onset of high cholesterol. Now at 20 years old, it's not something you want to have, so that was even more of a push for me to want to do the surgery, want me to want to do better and everything else that's going on with me, just me not being happy. Because I've always I I've always been overweight, but not this overweight. Um, I was always, like I said, I've always been overweight. In high school, I was I was bigger. Um, but I did the sports. I did two. I was on two soccer teams. I was on did the track team. I was a thrower. Um, I danced. I did all that. So I was always very active. So it kind of just kept my weight at a medium, and I was just very like I said, I was always like a size like sixteen to eighteen in high school, maybe fourteen to eighteen in high school. And then after high school is when I shot up, and I just that's in jeans. And then I just shot up after I graduated because. I stopped playing all those sports, and now I'm just at or size 24 pants now, which is not what I want to do. I have all those jeans waiting that I wore back in the day. I want to be able to get back to those. Um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much it right now. But like I said, I just want to be able to inspire people that, like just like I have been inspired by other people. So I hope I'm able to help people throughout my journey, that they've learned something from me. And I hope I learned stuff for myself, also from other people having their feedback from me. And I look forward to hearing from you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.